Good morning, YouTube family. I am really excited because today marks six weeks since we've moved all the way from Ontario to Nova Scotia. Six weeks. It actually feels like a lot longer because we've already tackled a lot at this new property. So we have approximately four acres on this, what we now know to be an 1899 abandoned home. We don't know yet why it was abandoned, but we can only assume that the amount of work and budget that would be required to restore this place was probably what eventually drew off the last couple of owners. And we kind of know from looking at previous photos what work each of the families did, and none of the families really did all that much work. And so we're really happy that we were able to get this place and make this our new home. So we've already tackled the deck. We tackled the deck first because it was absolutely crumbling you could touch it and the thing would fall off. And so we only really were looking at the safety aspect of having deliveries come or Phil's mom and dad and the kids were here and no one getting injured on the deck. Over the past few weeks, we were also able to tackle the front entryway. It was a dream project with the tin ceilings and the tin textured walls. So really what we wanted to do was come in and tackle interior projects. But when we got here, there was no running water, no heat, nothing was set up, all of the electricity was wrong. You saw the basement was flooded and it was monsooning in the kitchen. And there were all of these things that we expected the worst, but didn't really know what was going to happen when we got here. So today I'm excited to show you, we are going to start tackling the living room. Oh, this living room, there are beautiful bay windows. There is a marble fireplace, which is original to the house. And there are just really nice tall ceilings. We have beautiful original molding and there's hardwood flooring in this space. So I wanna show you the design and aesthetic of what I'm looking at to do in this room and what furniture we've actually already purchased that has arrived. Yay, we have furniture. We had lawn chairs for the first couple of weeks. And I wanna show you some things that I've chosen to put into the space and really what work needs to be done, as well as what kind of budget we're gonna to go to for fixing up this specific room. This is the current state today of the living room. And what we're looking at is the original fireplace, which I absolutely love the shape. Don't so much love the color, but I do love the shape of the fireplace. And there's some tile at the front here that has been all broken away. So you can see it's quite weathered and it does need a lot of repair. And we do have these two cabinets on either side, which we are not actually keeping in this room, but just to be able to have somewhere to put a few things over the past couple of weeks, like Legos, books, you know, Pokemon cards, the essentials when you have children, we have these actually just set up in here for right now, but they are not going to be staying in this room. And then there's this vent here, which is above the fireplace. And we now know that that was because there was a gigantic wood stove pipe that came out and then sat central to the middle of the living room. So I can't imagine having a gigantic wood stove sitting in the middle of this living room. And that's definitely not how we're going to have it. Um, and then you can see we have really tall ceilings in this room and a really terrible old 1980 ceiling fan. But we do have some plaster wall repair that needs to be done in this space. And there are some snippets of original wallpaper coming through, which I think I'm going to scrape off a section to be able to put it in a little piece of a frame or something. And we have these huge bay windows. So we have bay windows on this side that look out to beautiful scenery. And then we have bay windows on this side that look out to our brook and our beautiful deck we just restored. So one of the things that I love about this room is that we do have that original molding around the windows and we do have a really large molding. I believe it's 10 to 12 inches along the perimeter of the room, which is all original. And we have original hardwood floors. Now you would think that some of these would be able to be repaired, but unfortunately the gaps that are between them are so large and quite terrible underneath this large rug here that it's actually not repairable. So we will be putting in some new flooring. Let's talk design on what we're going to be doing in this room. So we, one of the things I really wanted to do was to have a really large sofa and I wanted it to be a sofa that could wipe off. So we have this large sectional here, which when Philip's mom and dad were here, Actually, we could sit all of us and we also have three basset hounds. One of the things that I ordered for this room that I absolutely love is this coffee table. And I really loved how it had an orangey tone to it, but that it's actually real, like looks like a rough live edge of wood. It doesn't have a finish on it like you would expect on a coffee table. And I think it really complements the colors that are in this rug that I picked up for a really inexpensive price for the size of the rug. 
and I wanted something that was going to pull in some darker blues and in some lighter blues, which we did into the hallway to tie in because the sight lines for this room go between living room, dining room, and hallway. So on our video the other day, you saw that we were able to visit a local sawmill in the area where a local gentleman was cutting his own logs using his own mill from trees that were from our local area. Amazing to be able to support local, but also I was envisioning some live edge shelving on either side of the fireplace, as well as some custom built cabinets that I could put underneath on either side for storage. I wanted to have this open shelving because I wanted to put all of our keepsake items as well as some of our thrifted vintage finds that we'll find along the way when we're in Nova Scotia or even if we're traveling and have them on display in this sitting room. So I think that's going to be a really nice option to be able to treat our own wood and build our own shelves. And I'm actually never have built base cabinets before, but I'm going to build these from absolute scratch, which I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do on the channel, which I think will be kind of a challenge for me. So it'll stimulate my creativity as well as show you just sort of, even if you haven't done something, just to give it a try. I really have nothing to lose. And so I'm going to attempt to do this on my own. So what's gonna happen is, is that this sombrero here is going to go and the fireplace is all going to get restored and even painted. And then along the floor on the bottom here, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. Our flooring actually should be arriving today at the store that we ordered it from. So we should have that early next week. Both of these cabinets are actually going into our dining room. We have two, they're gonna get butted together and put on one of the walls. And then the live edge shelving is going to go two shelves on both sides. So this side is actually shorter than this side, which is why I'm going to build the custom cabinets at the bottom. So I'm gonna show you some inspiration on kind of what I'm looking at for building for cabinets. And then because this fireplace is actually a working fireplace, it's really important for me to actually put this tile on the floor in the front. Okay, so right now the to-do list is to go in and do some shopping to find some things that we need for not only the dining room renovation, but also the prep work we need for the living room renovation. And so my idea today is to go in and get the tile that's going to be on the floor in front of the fireplace. I have the paint and everything else I need for that space, but I want an organic looking, airy kind of looking tile that's going to go along the front and so i need to get grout mortar any supplies that i need in order to do that so i'm going to go see what they actually have in stock right now that means i don't have to wait and order anything since the delivery times on things are weeks on end wait for everything so i'm going to go in and pop in i also need to find some hardware to be able to hang those live edge shelves that we're going to create for the living room and then some hardware for some cabinetry that I'm going to do that'll be a custom build. So let's go in and see what they have. I'm fingers crossed they have what I'm looking for and in the budget that I'm trying to stay in. So I do really like this penny tile, but I feel like it's more of a bathroom tile than what I'm looking for for the fireplace. Okay, so I've decided that I really like this morning mist color tile and it comes in the larger tile and the smaller tile. And now I'm just deciding if I want to do a very soft neutral, a slight blue, or more of a grayscale. And then this one's hard to tell on camera. It's not actually white. It's more of like a creamy, more of an earthy neutral. So I'm just deciding on that. So that's one route that I can go. And then my other option here would be to go with a marble hex, which I really kind of want to stay away from because I am doing a really organic hex tile in the kitchen. So I don't think that's going to work for my project. So I am really leaning towards these. But I think if I look for the fit of the house with what colors we already have, I think this is my tile. And then I'm probably gonna go with a neutral grout rather than a white. And then the other route I could go would be to do something like this herringbone, which is kind of already laid out on a mesh and a neutral. I really do love this penny round tile, but I feel like it's more of a bathroom thing than a fireplace spot. So I am drawn to that. But that and that there, or oh, that's pretty. And this is the pewter, neutral. which is not bad either. Mm. And there's a silver. And silver. Oh, they all are so pretty. I'm gravitating towards this one. Mm -hmm. My hallway is. Oh, I like all of them. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do this one. Warm gray. Yeah, yeah like a warm gray. Yeah, that's so pretty. Oh. These are going to be the sea glass colored ceramic tiles that I'm going to be putting. And because this is in a spot that people would walk, I was able to use this style of tile. And so in this room right now, they look pretty neutral, but when you put them alongside white, they actually are a very beautiful soft blue sea foam color. 
And so right now I'm just deciding whether or not I want to lay them just straight in rows or if I want to stagger them every other kind of tile side by side, but then the end ones would be the half size tiles or if I wanna do them this way, I'm just kind of coming up with what way. And then I've purchased a really nice tan, kind of sand colored grout that's going to go in between. I really didn't want this to be white. And so I think this is going to look really nice with the orangey tone flooring that we've chose that will run along this room. And I believe our flooring is gonna run this way. So that will be really nice. And you can see just how nice it's going to complement with some of the accessories that we're going to put in this room, as well as the blue from the hallway. And then these are some items that actually came with the fire place that we have here. And there's like a fire poker. And I honestly don't even know what these are called because I've never had a fireplace before, but I plan on taking them outside and really giving them a revamp and then changing the color of them, which I think will be kind of neat for this room. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I wanted to give you a glimpse and a sneak peek of what you're going to see in this living room makeover series. Normally I make you wait till the end, but I thought it was too fun for me to work on this project and show you sort of some of the reasons behind some of my design choices and show you what kind of aesthetic is going to be in this room. Those of you who are asking, why are we not working on our kitchen first? We are waiting 20 weeks minimum for supplies to come for the kitchen renovation. World issues and the location on where we live, all across Canada, things are completely back ordered when it comes to bathrooms and kitchens. And so we're working our way through some of the other projects that we need to work on in the house. Unfortunately, hopefully we will get a kitchen before Christmas. So my ultimate goal right now is kitchen fully installed by Christmas so we can have our first Christmas dinner here in the new living room, dining room, and at this new house. So we're going to actually cut down our own Christmas tree on property and hopefully enjoy a beautiful new kitchen for Christmas. So everything's been paid for and ordered. We're just waiting for everything to come in. So ugh, 20 weeks minimum. We're also waiting for the appliances. So we've basically been camping in the kitchen. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for all the support on my channel. Please let me know if you have any ideas or anything that you kind of noticed that stimulated your own creativity while you were looking at the inspiration for this room. I showed you some inspiration pictures, some of the design choices that I picked for this room. So follow along. If you're new to our channel, hit subscribe, see this room come to life. I love you guys so much. And I'm so thankful that you're part of our YouTube family. Being able to make videos, creating a life I love means so much to me and my family. So we love you. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you tomorrow.